Hi family, you wanna make some noise? You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just coming here for the first time, my name is Onozasi and this is the place where you get your sex, relationship and lifestyle content. <laughs> Today, I'm not going to be doing this sex, relationship, and lifestyle thing. I just want to talk, you know, see some things that have been running through my mind. And I know that a lot of you can relate, especially if you are in this part of the world. <laughs> so, um, for those in their mid 20s, late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, and you know, this is like the, the time of your life where you're struggling and you're looking at yourself like, oh, especially those of us who don't have like a good background, you don't have a good background, you know, you don't have, you know, from a wealthy background and, you know, it's not like you are hustling, you're doing everything by yourself. This is the period where you just look at yourself and like, okay, am I going to make money? Am I not going to make money? Am I going to make a name for myself? Am I pushing the right buttons? Am I doing the right thing? I don't want to be like my parents, I don't want to be like those who have gone ahead of me and you're trying to do a lot of things for yourself, by yourself and then it's not like the, the atmosphere, you get what I mean by the atmosphere, it's not like the atmosphere is, you know, is durable or is okay for you to do but you just keep pressing, you just keep pushing and at the end of the day you come to realize that you did not even enjoy your youthful age, like our, our parents, this 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 Let's take it. Let's let me tell you the truth. Our, our parents enjoyed the good Nigeria. Our parents, you know, they enjoyed Nigeria when Nigeria still had things for them. Some of them finished school and immediately they got jobs. They were not, you know, scrabbling and you know trying to get, you know, struggling to get jobs and everything. They enjoyed like the good Nigeria. A lot of us, in fact, you know, us millennials and Generation Z, we did not. Like we we're born into scatter scatter Nigeria. We we're born. We did not really. We did not enjoy. Like we've not. We we've, we've never. We've never enjoyed Nigeria. Like we're doing things by ourselves. We're creating jobs by ourselves. We're doing all these connections by ourselves. We're the ones trying to make things done by ourselves. Like nothing has ever been done for us. So. There is this burden, like when our parents were, but this, you know, this age, a lot of our parents were married with kids. Here, some of us have, have not even been able to put things together. Some of us are still changing jobs. Some of us are still earning like 30k salary. And they're like, okay, somebody is now telling you that you should just start small. Start small how? Like how? Do you understand, you know, we've never really enjoyed our youthfulness. We, we hardly we hardly party and when we party we just do it once in a while maybe when a friend is getting married as well but you know those days they were going to club on a regular level they were hanging out and all of that we try to do these things but at the end of the day you get home you check your account balance once you get out like this you are thinking outside is expensive spending is expensive a lot of us are entrepreneurs but the ones building our our businesses ourselves today we are rich tomorrow we are not no matter how much investment you try to do no matter how much where is the money and then you're thinking the time is ticking i'm not getting any younger am i this am i that are there people that things are working out for just a few of us but at the end of the day you look at it the ratio is not balanced it's almost like and everybody is trying to leave the country sincerely everyone is trying to leave the country because they feel like okay the work i'm going to do over there will be commensurate with the reward i'm going to get and that is it sometimes you put in so much hard work that stream of income that one stream of income that you have in a sense society should be able to cater for your needs to an extent but here you are you're doing 10 you're doing 11 you're doing 15 you're doing 17 and it's like you're doing nothing like you don't have anything that's how it looks that is how it is, not even how it looks. That is how it is. Like you're doing it, you are the one that will buy generator to start your business. You are the one that will do this with which money. Then later, they see millennials are angry. If you were the one, if you're not gonna be angry, you're not gonna be angry, you're not gonna be angry, you're gonna be angry. Because it's like your time is, you're, you're just working against the odds. The odds are against you. You're, the odds is just against us. What here thinking, you know, one day I was, I was checking through and I'm like, okay, I have people like me who are breadwinners, okay? Circumstances and all of that has made them 
feel into the position of mother of the family, father of the family, okay? And then you look at your income. It's not even as much as what you spend. So you have to, every time your hobby, you have to think of how you're going to, you know, negotiate, do this, do that. And sometimes some of these older people look at you and they're like, you don't even know what you're doing. And I'm like, do you even know what I'm doing? Like, do you have an idea what I'm doing? I feel like a lot of us have the, a lot of us, young generation have the experience like life has, has thrown to us what the adults the older adults do not even understand like if i sit down if i sit some people down to tell them see this is what a lot of us are going through or even if i tell you my story like oh you're just at this age at this age because life wasn't we were not born into that life we and we are just here thinking can we ever like can we ever be fine Actually, I'm going to tell you the things that I told myself when I was thinking about this. And those things are, you're just going to do your best. While we all, all of us, we're just going to do our best. We're just going to be hopeful that everything is going to be fine at last. We're just going to pray that some, the sun shines on us. And we're not going to lose hope because we've come so far to be, you know, to now say we don't want to be in this anymore. Like, we're not going to lose hope. We're not going to be distracted because the thing is a lot of us have so many potentials some of us are ready to learn some of us are ready to work but it's just like you're not giving the chance to really explore the things that you want to and the thing is most of these people don't even understand that we need the money we're not even talking about needing the money for frivolous things we actually need the money we need the money to pay bills some of us are paying school fees some of us are paying house rent some of us are running businesses and everything and you know some of us are into entrepreneurs and when you know those big aunties and big uncles they, they want to buy from you or they want you to rent their services to them and all of that and you build them and you like you charge them and like ah, you like money do you even understand what it takes in running the business do you know the things that these people put into it and that's one thing about me if you like anything that you see on my body or that you want me to introduce you to a vendor and vendor is my friend the first thing i ask you is come clean with your money i'm not going to i don't do all those help me to talk to her maybe she's your friend maybe she give me discount if she does not want to give you discount who told you she gave me discount in the first place if she doesn't want to give you discount it is her business if she wants to give you discount give you discount those are business i don't like that thing i did not pay for the person's training i did not have the person give the person's cap uh, capital to start business so whatever the person decides is that is okay as the um, service charge that is okay i mean if you cannot afford it to go to the next you can't don't stay if if you go to, into a store and you cannot afford the back you will move and uh -huh. go to because a lot of us are are going through these things and it's causing a lot of people depression suicide and all of that i see just just keep up alive just just keep up alive that's what i'm going to say just keep up alive it is crazy it is crazy right it is so crazy but keep up alive keep 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 working it's, the way i'm saying is i'm also trying to convince myself but that's the best we can do because we cannot come this far to, to end it if anyone is watching me right now and is depressed and is thinking don't just do it again do it again don't don't end your life just do it again it's going to everything is going to be fine we are we all are just trying to figure things out none of us have been able to figure it out okay we're just trying our best to figure it out we will not be able to solve things out and i hope that this video makes sense to you as much as i think it makes sense to me because if i just thought of it that let me just come and talk here and because i know that the people in my shoes people that can relate there are a lot of us even if i'm not talking about it i'll see you again in my next video do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like and follow me on all my social media platforms my name is Olivia.